The area of Roosevelt Clark is a large vacant land that encompasses 135 acres of largely vacant land in the city generally bounded by Harrison Street to the north, the Chicago River to the west, Clark Street to the east, and the Archer Avenue to the south in the near south side community. This large vacant land was the railroad operating in Chicago in the 1850s, established a passenger station and a freight yard on the southern edge of the of what is now South Loop. Around 1900, railroad tracks filled the area from State Street to the Clinton Street, which is serving the freight and the passenger station. The decline of the passenger station and train industry lead to the large abandoned area in the city center. The area was one of Chicago's first residential districts, which the neighborhood initially settled along the Chicago River while Wayfit and the business magnates built their houses along Michigan and the Wabash Avenue. Chicago established passenger and freight stations in the 1850s on the southern edge. A neighborhood fire in 1874 destroyed most of the remaining residential buildings. Around 1900, Chicago became the nation's printing center and the, the railroad trades filled the area from the State Street to the Clinton Street with the decline of the passenger train industry and the change in the printing industry. The railroad was left in this area, which turned this large land into vacant. Tax increment financing is a financing tool used by the City of Chicago to promote public and private investment across the city. The funds will be used to build and repair roads and infrastructure, clean contaminated land, and restore vacant property to productive use, which are valuable tools for the urban redevelopment. When this district is established, the amount of property tax generated by the area is set as a base equalized assessed valuation amount. With property value increase, all property tax growth above the amount can be used to fund redevelopment projects within the district over a period of 23 years. In order to use of tax increments finance, the current condition of the area must be declared as fine and then are eligible to use funds for redevelopment plan. The Roosevelt Club Tax Increment Financing Redevelopment Plan and the projects are approved by the City of Chicago in April 4, 2019, which is a very recent urban renewal project. The condition of the area was a vacant land with the obsolete planting that caused the result in parcels of limited or narrow size or configurations of parcels of irregular size or shape that would be difficult to develop on the planted base. These structures in the area have become in conformity for the normal use that is defined as obsolescent. The obsolation also including water lines and the sewer, gas, electric parking areas, sidewalks, curbs, and the gutters may also evident to obsolete condition in the Roosevelt Clark. The Roosevelt Clark was also qualified for the requirements of deterioration defined by Illinois tax increment and locations redevelopment. The building here in the area are unsuitable for modern use, which has defects in the building's components such as doors, windows, porches, gutters, and faucets. The more the condition of roadway with the element of street caps are the evident to the deterioration in the area. There are also existing illegal use of individual structures. People are using the structures here that is violating the national and the states or local in, local environmental and the occupational safety and the healthy regulations. The extreme 
vacancies in the area was also the major factor that the city needed an urban renewal project here for the continued growth and the economic development of the Chicago. The current buildings in the area that are unoccupied or underutilized, which is a major defense on the area. This large vacant area was lack of planning with a certain of blinded condition that has damaged the city's ability to breathe, which city recognized the necessary to eliminate, eliminate the blinding factor and the problems arising from the reservoir. Clark. The Tiff district covered the 78 redevelopment mega projects bonded by reservoir rail to the north, Clark Street to the east, 18th Street to the south, and the south branch of the Chicago River to the west. Be approved by the city council. The 78 redevelopment project was funded by taxpayer money for public infrastructure within Roosevelt Clark. The goal of the 78 redevelopment project are to address existing transportation issue, increase regional mobility, and revitalize the vacant buildings to an economic use, such as building a new red line station and repositioning a stretch of metro checks on the side, Clark Street's infrastructure enhancement and the 15th Street's construction. The project would cost up to $1.1 billion, which including $700 billion for the improvements and the $400 million in financing costs based on the documents submitted to the City Council. The tax money will be used almost ex exclusively for regional transportation use, said by city planner Chip Hastings during the city commission meeting. The redevelopment plan for this area could create 13 million square foot that can be used in mixed use developments and construct a certain of new public infrastructure for the future standing need. For the affordable housing, the developer will follow the requirements of the city to set market rate housing aside 20% of their units, which means for the sales units in this area are affordable to the person earning no more than 100% of the area median income. The current residential units in the, in the area are 507, which means they will not be displaced from the area because if the redevelopment project area contains 75 or more inhabit residential units and then the city is unable to implement the, the removal of the original resident in the area. The current residential units will be part of the 78 redevelopment plan along with the plan to redevelop the whole area. The Roosevelt Club Tiff district was designated to mixed-use development, which means the area will include a number of skyscrapers along with the riverfront. A numerous major corporate tent will move into the waterfront area and plan to build up their headquarters in the river district. One of the most famous major corporate tenants, like Amazon, has started here for its HQ2 second headquarters. Furthermore, a seven acres presence shaped park will be built that provide a hundred foot wide public river work that is accessible park for the public in the downtown. For the future phase of the riverfront, it will be turning to an area that mix of residential, commercial and official zoom in the city of Chicago. In order to fully revitalize the area with the quality of soil that is satisfied with the standard of the city and the urban renewal project, we should know that a large part of the river line parcels contain the original channel of the south branch of the Chicago River. This formal 
channel was fitted with the different kind of field materials. The field materials was compromised of fragments of concrete, brick, wood, snake, cinders, slit, and gravel. These are the remains of previously demolished buildings and the structure that exists in the area were dumped on the side or into formal river channel. The area of Roosevelt Clark was originally one of the busiest railroad operating stations that serving both freight and passengers across the city and nation. The railroad tracks were covered it with the whole area can be seen out of the ones brilliant in this area. However, Roosevelt Clark's rail infrastructure was built over a century ago and the investment in the railroad haven't followed up with the value of the increase. Also, with the highway system built up, the decline of the railroad was determined by the change of era. Nowadays, the city of Chicago has decided to revitalize the whole area with a specific redevelopment plan. For the continued growth and the economic development of the Chicago, the method of the city to stimulate growth and the development was used special funding to light tax increment financing districts set out approved by city on a given area for eliminating the blind condition in the Roosevelt Clark and funding the mega redevelopment project within the designated district over a 23 years period. The 78 redevelopment project aimed to redevelop this whole area from a large vacant land with deteriorated and obsolete condition into a mix of commercial, residential, office, and public open space.